Thank you, gentlemen. And we will uh, offer you one chance to uh, give any final comments you have because those sounded like closing statements. And uh, if they were, that's fine. We could get out of class early. Um, otherwise, if you have something else, that you, any other point that you would like to make, now is your time. Start with Hudson Holiday. Well, it, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an interesting afternoon, and there's no doubt. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm kind of geeked the other day, both. There's no doubt that we all three want what's best for this state. I know that. Uh, one says he's a businessman. One says he's a government man. I say I'm all three, <laughs> business, government, and military. You know, there's there's merit in both being having government experience and business experience, uh, but leadership will be the defining factor that separates success from failure. Whether on the battlefield or in business or government or the football field, it doesn't matter in your church group. It's always about leadership. I don't have all the answers. I think you figured that out. But I do have the leadership ability and the business and government experience to find those answers. And then to pull people together, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, to work together to move this state forward for all of us, not just some of us. That's called leadership, ladies and gentlemen. Won't you please vote for me? Thank you. Dave Dennis, see you now. Both of these guys are good men. I know Deborah, I know Paulette, they're good folks. I carry Hutchins chapstick in my pocket just in case I, I get chapped at it. <laughs> <laughs> Decent man, good guys. They are pursuing this because they fundamentally in their hearts believe they would do the best job. I can accept that, but what I can't accept is the fact that I think they would do the best job. I'm pursuing it because we fundamentally believe, as I mentioned earlier, about our founding fathers. If you look at experience, you look at experience and you say, well, gosh, I'm not a political person. Well, that would suggest that Kirk Cordyce never should have run for office. That would suggest Haley Barber never should have run for office. Political experience is not the mandatory part of this. It's leadership. It's strong leadership versus what we perceive to be weak leadership. It's an aspect of having an opportunity to run. It is a privilege, it is an honor to be considered to have the opportunity to run, and I will tell you, I would sincerely appreciate your prayers, your support, and I would indeed appreciate your vote. Thank you very much for the opportunity of being here today. And finally, Bill Martin. Well, these are two good men, and I enjoy being with them. Let's spend some more time together. When Kirk Fordyce appointed me state auditor, a reporter asked him, what do you think about Phil being governor? Oh, absolutely, he said. He's more conservative than I am, and he gets along with people better. <laughs> I'll take that endorsement any day. Ronald Reagan said, you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We will preserve this, this great republic man's last, best hope on earth, for we will condemn our children to take the first step to a thousand years of darkness. Mm. I'm running for governor to make sure no child in Mississippi ever takes that first step. Mm. God bless you, Tea Party, and thank you for having us.